everyone, so today we are going to be getting ready for Matcha's um, kind of her bedtime routine that we do every single day. And so the first part of her bedtime routine is definitely to brush her teeth. So this is the um, tooth paste that we got. It's from Petrodex and this is poultry flavor. So kind of the meat flavor and dogs love this. The one I had before was mint and she didn't really like it. So we tried this one and it's from Amazon. I'll link below as well. We've almost finished one whole tube of it and it has been much as favorite. So if I put it near her, she wants to like, she's interested in this. So what I do is I take her hand brush. So this is the one we have for her. We bought a pack of this as well, also on Amazon. And you kind of can just put your finger through it, right? And so you can just put a little bit of toothpaste. So I'm not just getting ready for her toothpaste. She's already starting to lick her um, lips. So I'm going to do is take a little bit and kind of smear it on the, the brush side. And I'm going to go and brush Matcha's teeth. So this is how I've been brushing her teeth since she was little. So definitely get this started earlier than later. Um, as the older they get, the harder it is to kind of reach into their mouth. And then you might need to, you know, book an appointment to check it up with their vet or to do that yearly um, brush of the teeth. But because we've been doing it since we were younger, sure, um, there's not really a lot of plaque on her teeth. So we're okay on the dental um, costs and all that. So what I'm going to do is I usually take her, um, hopefully she, we can do it over here. Sometimes she doesn't like it, but I just take her mouth gently and I just brush the front and the sides so hopefully you can you can see it but i'm just brushing the very um just the very like outer parts of her teeth and also inside so then i try again and i want you i love you i love you okay and then what i'm gonna do is take it over here and again just brush the sides i go into her teeth as well um gently as well on the sides over here and also on the inside as well sides over here over here now dogs the dog is gonna try to move around because it is uncomfortable for them but as long as you're not applying too much pressure it is okay i just kind of put it on the sides of her mouth and i just kind of go in there and um, brush it all around and i also brush some of her tongue as well um, while i'm at it and so all right, so the next portion of her hygiene is definitely her eyes. Um, poodles have a lot of discharge from her eyes. It's kind of like eye burgers. So I definitely take one of my handy tools, which I'll show you. So this tool that I got from a family friend, it's like a really, it's like a mini brush. And what I'm gonna do is I put a little bit of water and I comb through her eyes um, before she sleeps. So with this one, she's not as, she doesn't move as much. So, okay, look over here. Okay, scoop like that, scoop it out. Okay, and the other eyes, and then the other eyes. Perfect, so we scoop it out, all the gunk, and wash it down again. So we got the eyes and then I should go in with her towel and her mini towel, some water, and then I actually go and wash that part of her face as well, just around the eyes. Just because you never know, I could have some extra discharge that we missed as well. So I kind of go in there into her inner eye corners on the sides. And then I also take the other side of the towel and wipe her mouth as well because sometimes she has some toothpaste on there, right? Which I hope. Okay, so the very last part is we have this vet recommended. This is the Acreage Flush. This is going to be for her ears. Um, it's pH balanced skin cleansing solution for cats and dogs. And this one, we um, basically we put this on a tissue paper or a toilet paper anything you need that you have and I kind of just put it all on there a good amount and then I 
um, open her ears and then kind of just wipe around. So if I can show you over here, let me show you on the other side. So I open this side of her um, ears. You can see this is her ear hole. And I kind of go in there and wipe it. So Macha looks so, looks so dumb with me. So yeah, I wipe um, that inner hole of her ears. You can definitely know that there's some you know, curves and some ridges. So definitely go in there. And also just the flap of the ears. Sometimes you can, you know when it's dirty because it's kind of oily as well. So I just kind of go in there and wipe it all. And sometimes, so try one more time as well. I just kind of drench the uh, the toilet paper, tissue paper, and I kind of go in there again um, and wipe around her ears and below as well over here. Um, yeah, and then I give her a little bit of a massage, and then we are good to go. Um, I do the other side as well. Same thing through the ear hole around the sides and in her hole and then give her a little bit of massage and then she shakes it off yeah okay so this is pretty much our night routine the last step would be to wipe her paws and um her genital areas as well um so this would be like her butt her genitals and then her the back of her legs the front of her legs and we definitely wipe her legs a lot just because she likes to go out, um, especially with grandparents and everything. And also just with the, because she's upstairs with us in our bedroom, like we want to make sure she's as clean as possible. And that is Matcha's night routine. I hope this helps um, some of you incorporate some of these things into your you know, nighttime routines, but this is great for us and let us know if we need to incorporate other things as well um i love to learn this is just i'm not a vet but this is something that has helped me sort of kept her hygiene where it is now and yeah the thanks for watching much you say you say bye bye you say bye bye yeah